Well, Chris, I think it'd be fair to describe that first game as a, a real baptism of fire. Obviously, 6-1 defeat today. Where would you begin to assess that one? Uh, yeah, really, really difficult. I thought uh, first half we'd done really well. 2-1 uh, down, they scored right in the stroke at half-time. And second half, uh, I mean, what, what, what? going to the beginning, I, I didn't want there to be a hard luck story uh, with Rushton. I felt over recent weeks, we were unlucky, we've just lost, things are improving um, and everything else. But today, I just... I don't think the lads down tools, but I think defensively our shape was all over the place second half. And then we tried to address it just for the, the last sort of 20 minutes. So I was worried about it becoming seven or eight because I thought physically we, we were gone. And it was very much men against boys. But listen, did I think it was going to be an easy game today? No. Uh, did I, did I, when I come here, did I know it's going to be a tough challenge? Absolutely. Has anything changed? No, it's got a game less. Um, but, you know, we need to get some bodies in. Bedford have obviously picked up since Graham Tomlinson took interim charge. Uh, but just tell us a little bit about how you set your side up today. It looked like a, a midfield diamond and a strike <coughs> partnership to start off with. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I, um, yeah. look, look Matt, Matt picked the team today, which I think was the right thing to do. But that had nothing to do with the result of the performance in terms of um, what it happened. I, Matt knows the boys and I felt it was the right thing to do for him to take the lead on that today. Um, we spoke about it and we, like I said, we were really happy. The, we start. I wanted to try and get to 15 minutes without conceding, and uh, we conceded our goal. And, and you could just sense physically they. It was men against boys, but we managed to find a way of playing against them. We controlled. We didn't control the first half as much as without the ball. But I thought we controlled the game a little bit without the ball. I thought we, we set some traps for them, um, and, and we nicked it in one or two areas. But. Yes, so, so we went with one up top. We, we tried to get, we knew they would play a five. So the idea was we have three to push forward um, uh, with Miguel and uh, Peter with uh, Chris up top. And then, yeah, but just, it just never materialized. I thought at the end of the day, we weren't good enough. Just looking at that first half, it was quite an even half. Both sides having chances, both sides scoring. Bedford coming in 2 1 at the break. But as you mentioned there, the early goals, they, they, they seem to really be our Achilles heel this season. How, how do you go about doing <coughs> that right? Um, well, look, uh, I've watched a lot of Rushton interviews over my time, and getting it right, you can talk about training and what you can do and, and how you can set and play different formations. The players have got to be better. We've got to get better players. We need better players. It's as simple as that. We've got to get better players. Um, we know that we haven't got the cash to do it, so we've got to try and be creative in the transfer market, and that's what we're trying to do. But as I've said to the players, you know, um, I want to try and be at Rushton for a long time. I don't want to be here for a quick fix. I want to try and help the club. Um, we know at the moment it's difficult. Uh, we've gained a little bit of momentum off the pitch this week, um, and there, there's been some long-term success for the club, which is probably more important than short-term success on the pitch. So we need to try and get the club back to where we want to be, you know, challenge, try and get out of this league in the right end, not this end. But at the moment, on the pitch, I feel we're a long way off it. You were speaking there about trying to bring players in. Of course, it's not going to be a quick fix. How, roughly how long do you feel like it would take to start bringing players in? Not necessarily for results to improve, but before players come in and we can start to see a Chris Nunn team. Yeah, um, look, it's always difficult to tell. We, we've got at the moment, I come up with six or seven, maybe seven, seven day approaches have been put in, so we can't speak to players um, for that period of time. Do we need seven new players? I don't know. Uh, I've tried to um, stagger it so that you can speak to players at different times, um, but we do need to bring some players in. I, People say you have to be careful what you say. Some players are here and they might get upset if they know we're bringing in players, but I want us to be successful. Um, today was a bad day at the office, um, but it's the first day. So we've got to pick ourselves up, brush ourselves down, and we've got to get on with it. It's as simple as that. There's no point feeling sorry for ourselves. You know, my hard, since I've taken this job, it's been a week, and it has been, it's been a week, and I've done it a week yet, Joe's it's a week, it's a week. week yeah. um, and it feels like it's been really hard work. But you know what, that's what I've signed up to, and that's what I'm here to do. And whereas I thought I've got to work really hard, maybe we've got to work really, really hard, but that's what I'm prepared to do. You mentioned about Matt taking the team there. You also got Jordan and Mickey and Kyle on that coaching team as well. Do you feel like now, over the next couple of weeks, you're going to start to take more ownership in that? In oh, absolutely. Yeah, listen, I take ownership today. Uh, all I was trying to get across was that um, Matt picked the team when you yeah, asked course, me about yeah. everything. But no, I take ownership. I'm the manager. I'm the person at the end of the day that is out there with the manager's coat on, I'm the manager, so I take full and utter responsibility. Um, Matt is an exceptional coach and he's a top man and he needs to be at this football club. Um, and him and Geordie, uh, Mickey and Kyle, obviously we're, we're a team, but I'm at the front of the team. So when you do 6-1, I've got to come out here, answer all the questions. Uh, I'll always be truthful. 
Uh, I might not give the answers that people want to hear, but I'll always be honest. At the moment, on the pitch, I think we're behind where we are off the pitch. I think the new board have probably got maybe a two, three week lead on me. Um, so I want to catch that up as soon as I can. So, but it, it, listen, we work as a manager, we're working every day. So, you know, this week I'll be speaking to some new players. We'll be training on Wednesday. So we go in on Wednesday and, and we, we go again. Putting this one behind us, we move back on to uh, 2023 now, St Ives at Hayden Road to kick off the new year. Just how important is it that, you know, we can get the fans down at Hayden Road and get behind the team? Yeah, um, look, I mean, it goes without saying, um, you know, I don't want them to be our 12th man. I want them to be our number 10 on the pitch. You know, I want them to be out there for us. Uh, when you're on the floor, sometimes you've just got to take a breather. Uh, you see boxers do it, you know, they get knocked down, they get to six, they could get straight up again and they know they're going to get punched really hard. So take your time, get yourselves up and let's let's go, let's have a go at St Ives, you know. I mean, I did hear they were losing, I don't know what their final score was. But, I can't, I can't remember um, what it was. But, but let, let's, let's, you know, kind of a go, let's, let's try and, let's, like I said, today I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. It's not something I haven't happened to me often, losing 6-1. It's not something I enjoyed. Uh, I don't like winning the final whistle to come when I'm getting beat. I don't like having to make a formation change for the last 20 minutes because it's 5-1 and I don't want it to go 6-7-8. Um, but those are the things that we had to do today. And it's not something I want to do again in a hurry, Joseph. Well, thanks for your time and your honesty, Chris. And we'll see you in the new year. Thank you. I don't need love.